This is the plaintiff, you lead a prophet. She says she met the defendant through Snapchat and began dating. Soon after, she loaned him some money when he asked, and sure enough, they don't communicate any longer, and he still owes her the money. The loan had nothing to do with their relationship, and she's here suing for the $532 she's owed. This is the defendant, Richard. He says he and the plaintiff were in a relationship and money went back and forth between them. They ended up breaking up because the plaintiff became too possessive. And when she surprised him by getting a tattoo of his name on her body, he knew things weren't going to work out. Bottom line, she's only suing for this money because she's bitter over their breaking up and he thinks the judge will agree. He's accused of leaving a lover high and dry. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, these litigants met through Snapchat, and the plaintiff says the defendant stiffed her on a loan, but the defendant says money went back and forth, so it was a gift, and it got weird when she tatted his name on her body. It's the case of leaving before the ink is dry. Thank you, Douglas. Welcome in. Okay, you lead a profit, you are suing. You've asked us to refer to you as Richard, no last name, okay. You are suing Richard, your former uh, boyfriend, I guess, for $532 that you loaned to him and he refuses to pay you, according to you. Yes. Tell me what happened. Um, he asked to borrow some money from How did you meet him? Through a social media site. Which one? Um, Snapchat. How do you meet people on Snapchat? I thought you had to, like, pick people to send it to. Well, you add and then you, like, snaps and snaps back and forth and messages and stuff. But how like did that. do you have to know who you're don't you have to know who you're speaking to? No, or? you can add them and you see they yeah, But how did you know that he existed to Adam? No, he added me. How did he actually. you know she existed to add her? Just adding random people from Instagram and stuff like that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you just <laughs> added random So go ahead. <laughs> and um, we became friends and then a few months after we started dating, taking serious. Okay. So um, how long did you date? Um we started dating like in July. Okay. And he asked to borrow some money for his car insurance. When did he do that? On Sunday, the 8th of August, 28th of August. Okay, so that's the 532? Yes. And uh, at what point did you two stop seeing each other? Um, it's been like off and on from since then, so. Okay, did you, were you asking him for this money? Yeah. All right, and? He agreed to pay it back on September 23rd. And did he? No, he never paid anything. Okay, so what happens? Who breaks up with who and why? I mean, it's back and forth, basically. He started acting different and stopped talking to me and blocked my number, and oh, then yeah, he unblocked. That, that's kind yeah. of a message that he's not your boyfriend. <laughs> he, blocked, yeah. he blocked your number. That's not off and on. Yeah. That sounded pretty off. No, but then we will speak. I will call from like other numbers to see like, are you gonna pay me my money? Okay. But then that's not no. on though. That's you collect trying to collect the money. Yeah. So you call will, from other numbers yeah. and ask him if he's gonna pay you your money. And, and then he will say? unblock me and then block me again. So it's like okay. back and forth. So two. did he basically borrow the money and then dump you? Not really dumped. He just but I, you didn't want to break up, right? I mean, no. No, but, you like yeah. him. You still like him? Yeah, you know. <laughs> All right, this is not going well, Ms. Profit. All right, so um, let me talk to you. What's the deal? You owe her money? Well, yeah. Well, to me, I don't feel like I owe her any money at all. Okay, let me just tell you that the, the last way you want to defend yourself is starting off with, yeah. Then no. When a judge asks you, <laughs> do you owe her money? Yeah, I know. No. Uh, I don't feel like I owe her money. Okay, so why do you feel like you don't owe her money? So can you make people like you uh, by giving them money? Well, I guess, yeah. Cause... Oh, God. Please say no. No. <laughs> oh, no, please. Okay, now please mean no. Okay, I, I usually don't ask this question. How old are you? 15. Okay, good. Just accept my word. Never think people can like you by giving them money, okay? Okay. Okay, my job is done. Going inside the courtroom. Okay, to be honest, I mean, in a relationship, people do things on both ends for each other. I mean, I might not have done as much as I could have for her. But, I mean, she offered to help me. I accepted the help. Right, right, but at the time that she offers to help you, are you supposed to be paying it back? Like, does she say, 
okay, the agreement we had, she was like, you don't have to pay me back right now, or you don't have to rush to pay me back. I was like, she's like, you don't really have to. I said, I will, because I don't really want you to say that, you know, or to be, to make it a new problem. So he's like, you don't have to rush to it. So I was like, all right, but I'll pay you All back right, so it was a loan. It's not like that was a gift that she gave to you. You just well, mean, hey, it was a loan, but she didn't have to give me a loan. Well, what does that mean, you know? The bank doesn't have to give you a loan either, but when they do, you got to pay it back. Why haven't you paid it back? Because I, I was going to. Well, I know you were going to. Can I pay my mortgage with you were going to? No, right? Can you no. pay your rent because someone says, I was going to pay him? Or my favorite, I never said I wasn't going to pay him. But, I never said I wasn't going to pay him. Well, have you paid her? I mean, because that was a couple months ago. Yeah, but it didn't have a specific date to be paid back. So when do you plan to pay her, sweetie? I mean, I'm not sure, but I would have paid her. Oh. I would have. <laughs> I would have. When? I don't have a specific date, ma'am. Okay. Are you working? Yes, I am. All right. What do you do? I'm a forklift operator. Okay. So you get a paycheck? Yes, I do. Okay, so in that paycheck, mm -hmm. you couldn't find $20 to start making a payment plan or something or start to pay her? Yes, I did. What went but wrong I... between you two? All right, um, I mean, relationships are ups and downs, but I find she did, she takes certain things and went too far with it. So like that's what? why I, um, she started taking numbers off my phone, you know, calling my friends and stuff like that. Really? And, yeah, so the people, like people I didn't talk to for like over a year, they contacted me. Why is this person asking me what relationship we have? So like, who, what, and then, you know, so it even reached the point where people wanted to meet up to fight and stuff like that. And I didn't, I didn't like that, you know, because you're making my friends Did uncomfortable. Did you pick up his phone and start? No, I didn't have anyone fight him. Those no, no, are people did you before. pick up his phone and start, like, snooping around Yeah, and because I've seen messages that talking about our private stuff, so I want to know who's How did that? you see the messages? Because it's on the phone. It's yeah, like, how did yeah. you get into the phone? You don't have a password on your no, phone? No, it shows up on the phone. And it's probably, probably use my fingerprint. I'm not sure who she did. No, it shows up on the phone. Sleeping and use your fingerprint. Oh, my God, I love it. That's brilliant. <laughs> Sleeping and use it. That's, forget the thumbprint. Now we got to have a number. Back, Go back in time and do a number. Wow. All right, so how did you get into his phone? I didn't have to. The message just shows up on the screen. So I took the number because he never saved it, and I text her. And you texted her and asked what? Like, what's the relationship? What's your problem? Oh, that, you that sounds more like you're spying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just say it? Everybody within the sound of your voice knows. Just say yeah. you were spying. Yeah. Why are you so insecure? I'm not insecure. You're like, not. He's telling people, OK, it's one incident. Who are you? Why are you calling this number? And what is she yeah, saying? Yeah, because to you? he's, I mean, OK, it's, we are intimate, right? And yeah. he. I don't know if he's messing around with other people, okay. but we're not safe, so he, I don't know if he caught something. Well, I, I have two suggestions. Yeah. Okay, don't date a guy if you can't trust him, don't sleep with a guy if you can't trust him, and use protection so that you're safe. Those are my yeah. three pieces of advice. Because what you were doing, which is snooping around and calling people, is demeaning, it's degrading, okay? You're a lovely young woman. How old are you? 23. Oh, baby, you had your whole life ahead of you to be 23 again. Oof, I know then what I knew, know now. Um, it's, um, it's, your, it's a very low point. And um, it wasn't just that she was snooping. There were other things that kind of freaked you out. Yes, ma'am. And what was that? Threatening me to make me lose my job and all that type of stuff. So that's why I kept Did blocking her. Did she threaten her. You, to, do you? Do you have any texts from her? Yes, Do you I have texts? Can I have them? Did you threaten to go to his job? What is this? You put his, you tattooed your, you tattooed his name on your back? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. You ta how long did you date this guy? You would tattoo his name on your body. I mean, it's, yeah. I can't hear you. You're it's mumbled. just the name. It's, no, it's not just a name. It's a permanent disfigurement yeah. of your body with the name of a guy who had already broken up. So it's even stranger and more. It wasn't more... like broken up. It's like on and off. One day. I know, honey, off. but a tattoos yeah. for like you know. Yeah, a tattoos that's... like. Permanent. Yeah. yeah. And you had been seeing him how long when you did this? Um. Do you have other guys' names tattooed on you? Not really. Not really. No. How, what does that mean? I have other names that doesn't mean anything. I just get tattoos of different stuff that I feel like I need to get. All right, listen to me. I'm going to talk to you like you're my daughter. First of all, don't ever loan money out you can't say goodbye to. 
it needs to be enough where you just say, if it goes sour. If, if it isn't, then you loaned too much money. Um, it's better if you don't loan money at all to anybody that you're dating. But I'm realistic, and I understand that sometimes stuff happens and you want to help somebody you love out. But don't do it if you can't afford to say goodbye to it. That's one. And two, you need to wait for a man that doesn't make you this crazy. You're only 23 of your whole life ahead of you. You're going to meet so many men between now and the time we say goodbye to the earth, OK? I can't even tell you. And one of them is going to be, you're going to look back at this, and you're both going to laugh about it, you and that soulmate out there. But you have your whole life to do that. I'm, reading, I'm not going to read out loud the text you sent them. But you need to give yourself, you need to be single and work on yourself for a moment or two, mm -hmm. so that you feel that you are worthy of what it is you want somebody else to see in you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Because he might be a perfectly good mate for somebody else, but he is not a good mate for you. And it'll happen. It happens to the best of us. It happened to me numerous times. And then you just, you know, you feel like your life's going to end this very moment and that you have to have this or you can't live. But of course, we all know that that passes. It passes. It's like a fever. <laughs> okay? It's like a fever. So surround yourself by friends, surround yourself by wine and women, and make yourself feel better and move on down the road. Okay? That's my, my prescription. Lord, girl. And in the meantime, do me a favor. Pay this lady back, because you know you're supposed to pay her back. Pay the lady back. $532 verdict for the plane. So the plaintiff gets her money back. Not only that, you got a really nice, sweet lecture from the judge. Yeah. Some really good advice. Yeah, How do you feel about that? Um, I felt it opened my mind more. I mean, you were starting to tear up in there, yeah. you know? Emotional a bit. She's like the mom you, you need at this point on a day like this. Yeah. You going to listen to her? Yeah. All right, good luck to you. Thank you. Okay, thank you very, very much. Now here comes Richard, the defendant in this case. What do you think about what the judge just told her? Well, what you said makes sense after all. She, what you, the advice you gave that makes sense. I think so too. Mm -hmm. And you, you learned something from that as well, maybe? Not really, no. Not really? <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, thank you very much. You must sign a few documents and give her the money. Okay. Harvey? Okay, I mean, look, I was just, I, I wasn't really kidding you, though. I mean, I'm really serious. We have had so many cases in the people's court where people will shell out money thinking that you can buy somebody's love. We have had hundreds of cases, I think. And I will tell you, not a single one works out. You cannot, cannot, cannot buy somebody's love.